Comeback champions, what's up? Question for you. Have you tapped into your mental resilience? Sharing my screen with you all. What is mental resilience? Your ability to adapt to hardships, stress, emotional difficulties, and mental health issues. Building mental resilience is a process in which we utilize our self-improvement knowledge and personal development skills to over time reframe our thought patterns and improve our mindset. Tapping into that continuous personal growth will allow us to work through obstacles easier and maintain our mental health and our mental resilience in the process. Are you a comeback champion or are you someone who gives up in defeat and walks away from your failures? Do you learn from them and get better? How strong are you when it comes to bouncing back after these challenges pass? Have you ever paid attention to how you handle these moments mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and even socially? How are you at adapting to the changes in your life? Are you doing the inner work, self-reflection, shadow work, so that, so that you can live peacefully? Are you continuously gaining self-improvement knowledge and upgrading your personal development skills to grow in all aspects of life? How do you show up for you in your life? Do you take a breath? Exhale that air and put things into perspective before you respond or react? Or do you panic and cave into your emotions and let them interpret your feelings? The mental air I hope you will inhale and exhale from now on is the air method. It will help you stay focused and allow you to cope at these times. The A equals adapt. The I is inner work and the R is repeat. Adapt to change, adapt to the changes in your life and work on gaining and improving your self-awareness. Do the inner work because our inner self consists of self-exploration, self-understanding, healing, spiritual transformation, and personal development. We must repeat the process because personal growth is a continuous process. I have enough time to give you one topic from each letter from the AIR method. You got your notebook and pen, right? Sharing my screen. The AIR method, level one. The A, four ways to adapt, four ways to develop, excuse me, a positive mindset. The I is how to overcome limiting beliefs. The R is how to focus on the process. Before I do that, let me tell you a little about, about me and why I am a comeback champion. On July 15th, 2021, I was working out and I was sweating and I was feeling good, but in the back of my mind, I was waiting on an important phone call. The phone rang as I'm sweating. I pick it up and I see that it says Dr. Brown on it. So I pick it up. Hello, hello, Angela. Hello, Dr. Brown. I wanted to let you know that your test results came back. Okay. You have invasive ductal carcinoma. It was a malignant tumor, which means you have breast cancer. And I'm going to need to see you in my office immediately. As I'm ingesting the information that I'm just being told, there was a little sigh of relief because I knew something was wrong and I knew I wasn't crazy. The fear set in. And, and just what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't want to lose my breast. Okay, he's talking to me. Let me get back to what, what he's saying. Can you come in at, and, meet, and see me at 2 p.m.? Yes, I can come in at 2 p.m. Okay, thank you. I'll see you then. See you then. Hung up the phone, slid down the wall, and I just cried to myself because I knew that I had to do something different in my life in order for this dis-ease to change. The news, when I went to the office, things started happening quickly. I was getting so much information. 
this treatment, this treatment, this treatment, be on chemo for the rest of your life. Uh, you can do a trial for the specific chemo that you have. You can get a, a mastectomy. You can get a double mastectomy. We can do reconstruction. Just a lot of adapting I had to do to the information that was coming to me. During the chemo treatments, I had 12 rounds of chemotherapy. I had 20 days of radiation. I lost my hair. My fingernails peeled off. I lost my eyelashes. Like it was, it was a time, but I had to adapt. I had to do the inner work. I had to call on everything in me to help me survive. I got a life coach. She helped me to dig deep and do that self-work and do that self-reflection and that inner work and to heal the little the child in me, to heal the issues that I had that I thought I let go of, but I didn't, the resentment, the disappointment, the limitations. And then I had to repeat all of that as I'm now still growing and having to have cancer treatments and well not treatments but I have to go to the doctor and do all of the things and it's growth is a is it's a continuous process so now I'm determined to live my life and not just exist in it so I'm repeating it I'm repeating it I'm breathing air into my life I'm allowing my life myself the time to adapt and change my outlook on things from negative to positive I was able to gain focus, develop an action plan, set small goals and achieve them all while having cancer treatments and just keeping myself determined to be a comeback champion. Sharing my screen with you guys. Four ways to develop a positive mindset. Number one, establish a flexible morning routine. Make sure you have a flexible morning routine where you allow for at least 20 to 30 minutes for self-care. That was so important and vital for me. You can start the day off with a positive affirmation, meditation, or read 20 minutes of a personal development book. I make my bed after I get up. Something about a made bed. Then I get myself dressed and cleaned up. It, meditation and journaling, then I read. It helps set the tone for your day. Number two. Focus on the present moment. Be in the moment. Learn to focus on that present moment and what is going on in that time. It can be freeing. You'll think clearer and you'll find the perspective you need. You won't have a mind full of thoughts either if you decide that that's what you're going to do. It doesn't, happen over, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. But if you work on it, you will be able to do that. Number three, transform negative self-talk into positive. Identify the negative thoughts when they pop up, reflect on it, and once attention is called to it, change the perspective and attempt to redirect the negative self-talk into encouragement. It takes practice. Again, it's not an overnight thing. Once you hear, once a negative pops up, push it out with a positive because there, there are over a thousand thoughts, positive thoughts you can have rather than that one negative. Number four, have supportive relationships. Surround yourself with people who support you and are on their own personal journey. Get some counseling, coaching, or therapy if you need. This will help you stay motivated and hold you accountable for the things you say you will do so you can continue to grow. Keep positive folks in your tribe. Limiting beliefs are self-imposed ideals or thoughts that hold us back from achieving our goals or living our best life. When was the last time you gave up on something and why did you give up? When was the last time you failed and what did you tell yourself about the reason for your failure? If you told yourself anything other than I did my best and I learned a lesson and I will do better next time, you're making excuses. You're letting limiting beliefs get in the way of achieving your goals. They can be formed through past experiences, societal messaging, or personal insecurities, among other things. Number one, how to overcome limiting beliefs. Identify your limiting belief. My limiting belief, I manifested the breast cancer. I did it to myself. I caused this disease. It was just a belief I carried and I manifested because I focused on not getting it. The law of attraction is always at play. Instead of working to heal those issues that caused the disease in my mind, I kept telling myself I didn't want to get breast cancer and silenced the thoughts 
that were in my mind of the issues. Reframe your belief. The new belief I have now is it didn't happen to me. It happened for me. I got the treatments for my specific type of breast cancer, the life coaching I needed. I healed. I, I healed and I do the inner work and I continue to do the inner work. And now I'm living my passion and showing up for me so that I can show up for you. Here are some examples of limiting beliefs we hold on to. Limiting belief. It's too expensive. New belief. I now live in abundance. Don't base your beliefs on mis common misconceptions. Nothing is too expensive. We all have abundance. Limiting belief. I can never do that. New belief. Learn how to use your fear instead of letting your fear use you. Get out of your comfort zone and take action. Remember to try and think of it like this. There is no such thing as failure. There are only results. So try, try, try again. Limiting, limiting belief. I don't have the willpower. New belief. I can build onto anything I master. Be a skill builder. Do that personal development. A skill we can learn is a muscle we can exercise. It's a tool that leads to results. Once you discover what your limiting beliefs are, you can start to incorporate actionable strategies for changing them. Number three, put my new mindset into practice. Focus on a vision of what you want in your life. Decide and commit to showing up for yourself and changing. Be the creator of your life. Remember, if you do what you've always done, you'll always get the results you've always gotten. Focus on the process. The process keeps you focused and present on your journey. Goals are directions, not destinations. You control the process. Break down your goals into steps or tasks and do one thing at a time. If you're going to get down on yourself, make sure you judge your progress, your progression on how well you execute the, on the process, not if you accomplish your specific task or goal, step or goal. Pay attention to your habits, actions, non-actions, and even more of this because all of these things factor into your progress. Inhale and exhale. Air that replenishes your mental resilience muscle every day. Get your mental fitness on, y'all. Grow through what you go through. Be that comeback champion we know you are. To learn more about my AIR method or inquire about my coaching program, make sure you take down my contact information, my YouTube, my Instagram, and join my VIP resilience community by messaging me your email address on either platform. And there is my email right there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.